everyone, Jake Graham back at it again with another deck profile. This time we're doing trap tricks. Let's go. Alright, first off, for part of the trap tricks engine that you need, three mantis. All of the trap tricks are unaffected by whole normal traps. And mantis effect on normal summon, you get to add another trap tricks to your hand. And its other effect doesn't really come into play that much, but you can target a trap that's on your feet, a set spell or trap on your field, return it to your hand, set another one, or the same one, doesn't matter. Next one, three, you're mellow. On normal summon, you get to add a whole normal trap, and on special summon, you get to destroy a set, uh, not a set, a spell or trap your opponent controls. And Miramela's effect is mandatory because it says when special summon. So it always resolves. Even if your opponent does not have a spell trap, it always resolves. And then three Dianea. You could play two, but I like playing three just because it helps you in grinding and it also helps you recover from bad first turns. Um, on normal summon, you get to target a uh, trap tricks in your graveyard, special summon it. Um, this helps you get the effect of your mill often, more often than not, help you destroy spells and traps, and just help you go into rank 4 plays. And a special summon, if you ever special summon this, you get a set of spell or a whole normal trap that's in your graveyard, but banish it during the end phase next turn if it's still on the field. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it. Um, and also I play Nepenthes. You can also play Atrax too, it just depends on your preference. This one, um, If you activate a whole number trap, you can add to your hand or special summon a trap trick from your deck, except this one. So it kind of helps you grab more trap tricks from your deck or just special summon stuff. So you can also special summon your Mellow or Dianea. Just basically more for a grind game, not necessarily stuff you need to run at three, but very helpful. Atrax is helpful too because she can help play whole normal traps from your hand. Very useful. Um, another card that I'm running right now, I might choose to side deck this, but Iron Dragon Tiamaton. Very useful card, very helpful in breaking down columns, because if there's three or more cards in a column, that includes your opponent's cards, you can special summon this to a zone, and that whole column is destroyed. Yes, anything can be changed to it, but it, chained to it, but it really helps proc off stuff that your opponent has set or just has left there. And other than that, so I might cut this and play go for a parallel exceed, which helps get basically a free rank four from your deck because it special summons itself and another copy and gets two of them. Might trade that out for this and put this on the side for tougher matchups or something like that. I don't know. It's a useful card though. It could be played in other rank four decks. Um, a card that I need a third copy of, because I got this when Trap Trick was quite expensive, was Trap Trick. So I really need a third copy, but I'm running two right now. I'm also running Compulse. Bolster reactive evacuation device, flip it, return a monster, to your, a monster to the hand, yours or your opponent's. Pretty, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, really good removal, really good for finishing games or taking out monsters that can't easily be summoned. Also good during the battle phase. Another trap that I probably would psycho in second but is really good doing first. Dynamite Shade Brigadine helps proc off your Link 1's effect, and it's a level 4 on summon. And you can activate this first turn if you have no spell or traps in your graveyard. 
I'm also playing Lost Wind since this is a budget profile. I'm not playing even in permanence, but I would recommend playing it in permanence over this. But this is still a really good card. I would even recommend playing this along with Impermanence. They're both pretty good. Also running Bottomless. Bottomless Trap Pool. Anything with 1500 attack or more, you can destroy it. And if it, you do banish it on its summon, or you self explanatory. Trap 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 Pool might, Nightmare. Might run a third copy of this. Don't know. It's a pretty good card because you can negate a special summon monster's effect and destroy the card as well. Very good for countering things that your opponent is really strong that's summoned. Flood Key Trample was really good in Master Rule 4. I might cut this down to 2 just because it just flips your opponent's monster face down, which is good because it blocks a zone that they can use in terms of monsters but isn't too reliable unless you're flipping something down that they really don't want to have flipped face down that they can't flip back up. Because they won't be able to flip it back up, but if it's something that's not useful, it just was better last format because a lot of decks use the links. Then I'm also running Strike. It's all in Strike. Pay 1500, negate a special summoned or a monster's effect. Simple, self explanatory. I'm also considering running Solemn Judgment. Um, Imperial Order, very good. Probably would side this out, maybe going second, but it's just a very good card. Helps basically body people who play lots of going second decks with spells. Just flip this, Get, game basically ends. This card would be godly if it was at three, but because it's just so powerful floodgate, it's at one. And then, I'm not a lot of people do this, our main decking, but I'm main decking a couple spell and trap removal. Heavy Storm Duster. If you activate this on your opponent's turn, you can basically ignore the second effect if you cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card, because if you activate this on your opponent's turn, you still get your own battle phase. So just on your opponent's turn, their standby or whatever, flip this. They can chain it if they want. Especially against like mine. You really want to probably side this in with Trap Trick. And three cards I'm looking to get rid of for the Grave Trickers Trap Pool. I'm running right now, before I get that, a Deep Dark Trap Pool. Not very good because it only banishes level five or higher. Break off Trap Pool. When a monster's linked, summon to destroy monsters that are not linked. Not entirely useful because it's not searchable actually, but I just play in the deck because it's a trap hole. And then anti spell fragrance basically destroys anything that relies on spells. So Sky Striker, Witchcrafters, etc. Also uh, pendulums because pendulums can't set their scales, they have to play them. And then for the extra, I will get a third Sarah at some point, but Sarah, the best card in the deck. Like, you can't even argue. You just link summon it with a Trap Tricks monster, and it's unaffected by all trap effects. So you have to use, like, an actual monster hand trap to get rid of this thing's effect. Or something that is actually able to negate it that's not a trap. So... If a normal trap card is activated, you could special summon Trap Tricks Monster or deck with a different name from the cards you control. And if another Trap Tricks effect activates, so basically anything that could proc off, so your Mellow on its summon when you summon from this, Dianea on its summon using, um, even conducting the second, um, effect of Mantis would work that triggers this. So yeah, I want to get a third copy, but I don't have it right now, but the best girl in this deck, without question. I'm also running a Tornado Dragon for pesky spell and trap things like Altergeist, if you were going to a matchup with another 
Short Spiller Trap Deck, very reliable. I'm also playing Castell, very good for monster removal that you can spin back to the deck, one of the best at monster removal that allows you to not have it just go send to the graveyard. Um, I'm also playing Reflasia because you can send your one of trap spells or your two of trap spells from your deck or your three of's to thin your deck out to also activate basically whenever a condition is met that you know you have from your deck you can activate Reflasia's effect like if they have an effect like Grave Dragger's Trap pool is an effect from hand or graveyard you can negate pay detach a material from this pay 2000 basically stop whatever they're doing stop a summon stop an effect from hand or graveyard negate and destroy banish just very useful you don't need to play extra copies but i would at least play one just because it's so you useful going first or just so useful and just basically trapping your opponent because they'll, then they'll just focus on this when really sarah is the thing that gets things going I'm also playing a couple of Bistors. I'm probably going to cut this down to one. You don't really need to play multiple copies of these rank fours. Really, you just want to play it as a rank four toolbox. But Bistor, draw face, standby face on your opponent's turn. You detach one. They can't do anything in their graveyard that turn. Pretty self explanatory. Silent Honor Arc. Also, pretty good monster removal. Because you just detach it. So, and it. Uh, Elvich, they can't have their boy back. You just take it from them. They still have to swing over a 2100 beat stick. Not the easiest thing in the world. And also, if it's destroyed, battle or card effect, you can just detach another material from it instead. So, if you want it to stay on the field and you've already used its effect, you just detach the card you took from your opponent. Like, here, you can have it back now. I'm still going to keep the monster, though. Um, another card that's good running the, this deck, especially... Time Thief, very useful. I'd say probably people underrate this card sometimes, but that removal effect to place on top of the deck is probably one of the better things in the game right now, just because there's a lot of monsters that you don't want being sent to the graveyard, that you just want to spin back to the deck. That's just so much better. Also, just the draw effect from the spell and just being able to basically save itself and basically just mill out, slowly mill out your opponent because you could get into some grind games with this deck. But yeah, very useful. I'm playing this. Don't play this card. It's bad. But it's another rank 4 I have. Utopia. You honestly want to add a double in there as well. But I'll probably take that out with the Sky Pegasus, play Utopia Double and add a double or nothing to the deck. Much better card than this. Don't play this. Don't play Sky Pegasus. It's bad. You never want to use this card. It's 1800 for rank 4 XCs and it's useful. For this. Don't play it. Baguska, really good going first. Basically locks your opponent out for a few turns if you just open horribly. You can literally just win off of this if they can't literally out this if they don't have a kaiju or something. Literally some decks can't out this thing because it's just so good. Literally just summon in defense and then all their monsters when they're on summon get changed to defense and they can't activate their effects. Or their effects they can be activated but they can't be that are, ne are negated. Yeah, ne also negate the activated effects of monsters that are negated. So nothing other than effects that are already like on that are constant effects on summon and stuff that just happens once it isn't constant it doesn't matter they just don't happen Boros sword throw tk don't really have like the better stuff but i pulled this so yeah definitely want to play it really good for really unexpected 
if you really want to play more of a stop your opponent, you probably should play like Appaloosa. Much more money though. Also haven't pulled that, so yeah. You know, let's do a test hand since we didn't really do that first video. This deck I think is almost good enough to test hand, so let's try it. Be right back. So let's see here. Let's see what we draw. Oh, God, that's lovely. Ooh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, that's not so bad. So let's see here. Obviously, you don't want to set both of these. But you can at least set Order, Stormbuster. Probably the Deep Dark. Keep that trap in your hand. Summon the Penthes. Link it off. Again, not the best. Let's just pretend this is the field center. So it more looks like this. And in case you want to be able to faster activate one of your opponent's effects if they're not playing um, mech knights, you can have one of the spell traps in the zones so you can activate um, Iron Dragon Tiamaton faster. So they just play one card in that column, the link column that your Sarah's in. You basically blow up their board. But yeah, on your opponent's turn, you can flip Heavy Storm Duster, blow up two of their back row whenever you need to, which will activate Sarah's effect. You can also flip Imperial Order if they just try to blow up your whole entire back row with a Lightning Storm or something. You can just say, nope. And if they summon a level 5 or higher, such as Eldritch, just banish it. And then basically, if you want to summon something, you probably would summon... In this case, I'd probably go for Mirror Malone, because it would also trigger Sarah's effect. Which allow you to, one, summon... Get another trap hole. Basically, what would we be drawn next? Oh, Compulse, not bad. Again, not the best, but I think it's a pretty good deck profile compared to what I had for Altergeist. So that's about it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully I can put out more content more consistently. But uh, until next time, peace.